Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. We have to accept the R cross C integer matrix from the user, then print the count of columns having integers sorted in descending order. Now let us take our first test case. So this is our integer matrix. We'll have the variable count. Initially it will be zero. So count is equal to zero. Then we'll take the transpose of this integer matrix for our better understanding. 37, 32, 100, 88, 35, 30, 25, 67, 59, 46, 25, 13, 89, 79, 65, 36, and 32. So we have took the transpose. Now the columns have become rows. Now we will check for each row to be in descending order or not. So if we consider this first row, you can see that it is neither in increasing nor decreasing. So let us move to the second row. So here you can see that we have the descending order or the decreasing order. So the count will be incremented by one. Now we see the third row here also. You can see that the numbers are in decreasing order. So count will be incremented by two in third row. We have the numbers in descending order, right? So the count will be incremented by three. Now our output will be the count that is three. So let us take our second test case. So here we have four rows and four columns. Initially count will be zero. First we'll take the transpose. Eighty-seven, forty-six, forty-four, thirty-four. Now the columns have become rows. We'll check for each row to be in descending order or not. So if we see the first row. It is not in descending order. So if we see second row, yes, it is in. So we'll consider it and increment the count by one. Then in third row, it is not in decreasing order. So in fourth row, Yes, it is in decreasing order. So our count will be incremented by two. So the output will be the count that is two. Now we can solve the program in two logic. Logic one is take transpose of the matrix and check whether the row of the transposed matrix that is the row of transpose is in 
decreasing order and the logic too is by using the loops that is first we will iterate iterating from 0 to C and that is column and from iterating from 1 to row and check whether if the previous row elements is less or not so after that we will break and else will increment the count by one let us implement our program first we'll get the number of rows and number of columns from the user as our input then we'll get the integer matrix using list comprehension As I said, we are going to solve this program in two logics. The first one is using inbuilt function and the second one without using inbuilt function. For the first one, we will assign a variable count equal to zero and we will iterate over the transpose of the matrix. If you want to know more about this zip function, check out our Python function series video. The link is given in description. If row equal to equal to sorted off row in reverse order that is in decreasing order and we will increment the count by one and print the count here you should note that the row is in the format of tuple as zip function produces rows in tuple but the sorted function will produce rows in list so we will convert this row into list format so let us execute our program. We'll give our first test case. So we have got the output as three, which is correct. We'll pass our second test case. We have got two as our output, which is correct. As you can see, we have two columns in descending order. For our second logic, that is without using inbuilt functions, for column in range C and for row in range 1 comma R and if the matrix of row column is greater than the matrix of row minus 1 and column that is if it is in increasing order we are going to break the loop as it doesn't satisfy our condition so if it is in decreasing order that is if you are not executing this break we will increment the count by one and print the count so let us execute our program so we'll pass our first test case we have got the correct output then we'll pass our second test case here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video